Wednesday yeah. after all. So uh, we have some fun stuff that we're going to be uh, looking at here for Amanda and Diane's knit along. That's right. Knitting and other needlework has played a huge part in history. Robert Ludy and JJ Przewozniak are here from the Monroe County Museum to explain. We're so happy to have you here today. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. Happy to be thank here. You. Thank you very much for having us. So we uh, we got tipped off uh, to what was what you all are doing here at the museum by one of our knitting friends. Yes. Yep. <laughs> so so thank you very much, Chris. Uh, <laughs> you all do this program called Yesterways. Tell us exactly what that is. Well, Yesterways is a way that we connect yesterday to today. It's a hands-on workshop that goes on every Saturday and every month it changes. Uh, the workshops are inspired by a different artifact in our collections. Mm -hmm. This month it happens to be a sweater that's over 100 years old. Wow. And we have that sweater here. Diane, that oh my sweater gosh, so that is over 100 years old. It looks not a day over. No! <laughs> not a day over. But and of course, I'm kind of noticing that navy blue color. So, okay, 100 years ago, are we maybe talking war times? Because we also have talked during our knit alongs about how knitting, we were knitting for a cause. So mm -hmm. is it, you know, through the American Red Cross or any, what's the history behind it? Absolutely, yeah. This was uh, donated to us by uh, Erwin Wagner and he actually served in the Navy during World War I. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, uh, this would have been a, a sweater um, that would have been knitted at that time period. Yeah, uh -huh. for the you got that Wallace one on the nose, Diane. <laughs> yeah, I remember that story, and it was either green or blue, so I mm -hmm. figured that blue color, there mm -hmm. wasn't a lot of options there. Pretty and limited, yeah. I'm yes. looking at this at this network, and it's just it's just gorgeous. What, is there anything more that you could tell us about this particular artifact? Well, it's um, uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's partially a standardized pattern. Uh, the Red Cross specified a, a yeah. number of knit goods for the war effort. And what's striking to me personally about the artifact is it's one of about 23 or 24 million knit goods that were produced by people all across the country for the war effort. Mm -hmm. So it's special to us, uh, but it's also special as a part of that huge yeah. body of uh, patriotic fervor that kind of swept the nation in World War I. Mm -hmm. Yes, and even kind of remembering that history and the role that, you know, knitting has played. We've talked about it here, but even on Saturday, that's also going to be a topic of discussion, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so this is really great. As you mentioned, you you focus on an artifact for every month for, for your programs on Saturdays, and folks can come out this Saturday and learn a little how to knit, huh? Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. This is going to be our final Saturday doing the uh, uh, focusing on knitting, and then we're going to change up for February and um, knitting's been pretty fun so I think we're going to do it again later on but oh, good. I bet. what kind of pattern though is going to be there on Saturday can you tell us or is that a is that a sneak peek? no no it's not a secret we're okay. making something called a, a wristlet which is basically a, a fingerless uh, kind of a, a mitten mm -hmm. uh, it's a basic project it's kind of uh, easy for uh, uh, new knitters it's a uh, it's a rib stitch it's just a knit to pearl to stitch okay. Oh, okay. Um, I know what you're talking about yes I'm following <laughs> along here and this is what people are That's going to be that. making well well, this is at least what people are going to start. Right. They yes. may not finish it in that in that time there, but yep. look at that. And then if they want to, they can do one for the other hand later on. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Precisely. And, and the pa the patterns we use are actually all from this Red Cross pamphlet that was printed in 1917. Wow. This is a reproduction, obviously, but uh, the instructions are pretty clear in these things. Pretty yeah, clear. Yeah, I can even follow along. Yes. <laughs> and then what about the supplies? Because I know the Red Cross, they, you know, they wanted certain colors, mm -hmm. so they provided the supplies. Is that the case on Saturday? Yes. Yes. As a matter of fact, we do supply some acrylic yarn that's uh, pretty easy to find. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the wool that was specified in sure. 1917, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the idea behind Yesterways is that hopefully uh, when folks come by, they can be inspired and continue a craft, uh, a hobby that might become a lifelong passion. So mm -hmm. this this is a way to get the feet wet, so to speak. And you'll even yes. be providing the needles for them, too. Absolutely. We give away uh, enough yarn to uh, start a wristlet and a complimentary pair of needles to get you started. All right. There you go. So for all the folks who are thinking, okay, it's a new year, maybe this is for me, this is an event for them. Yes. And, okay. and tell us a little bit about why it's so important that we preserve this history and, uh, you know, we keep it going. Well, this artifact and really all of our artifacts, uh, they go really a long way to teach um, not just young people, but all people um, about the past and why it's so important to 
uh, understand it. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, just how, for example, with this particular piece here, how the nation came together during wartime, mm -hmm. how the Red Cross was able to pull millions of Americans together to uh, create knitted goods for our armed services. What an inspiring story yeah. that is. Right. Very so. good. So we can learn all about that and learn how to knit too this weekend. Yes. And so remind <laughs> us if we need to pre-register dates, times, and location. There is no expertise required. There is right. no registration required. Nice. And we do it from 10 o'clock in the morning to noon and we break for lunch and then one o'clock to four o'clock. Okay, and where are you located? At the Monroe County Museum, 126 South Monroe Street, Monroe, Michigan. Okay, so not too far from here. It's just a yeah, little bit. Just a quick okay. drive and then we can see nice artifacts like that and so and much more. Thank you so much for coming today. We really Thanks a ton for having you. us. Yeah, sure yes. thing. Yeah.